Welcome to Virtual Memorial. We're honored that you've chosen us to be part of your birth experience. When it's time to have your baby, if you arrive at the hospital between 7 a.m. and 8.30 p.m., please enter through the main entrance. Monday through Friday, valet parking is available for your convenience. On the weekends, free visitor parking is available within walking distance of the main entrance. If you arrive between 8.30 p.m. and 7 a.m., please enter through the emergency department. The emergency department entrance should also be used by your primary support person if he or she comes to visit after hours. Once inside the hospital, go to the third floor. When you arrive on the third floor, stop and ring the bell to be admitted into labor and delivery. Once inside, stop at the nurse's station to check in. Next, you'll be taken to the labor and delivery triage area where you'll be evaluated. Your primary support person can accompany you and keep the other members of your support team informed of your progress. Once it's determined that you're in labor, you'll be transferred to a private labor and delivery suite, also called an LDR, where you'll deliver and recover. The layout of the LDRs is based on patient feedback and suggestions. LDRs are equipped with comfortable chairs, flat screen TV with internet, phone, birthing bed, a fetal monitor, infant warmer, and a variety of the latest medical equipment. Bathrooms include all the amenities of home. Everything is at arm's reach to avoid any unnecessary bending or stretching. You'll remain in this room throughout labor, birth, and for one hour after the baby's born. During labor, three support people can be in the LDR with you. In order to maintain optimal infant security, switching of the support people cannot be accommodated. Each person will be given a green ID bracelet so he or she can be easily identified. If all's well, your baby will remain with you throughout your recovery period so that you, your baby, and a significant other can enjoy the golden hour, a time for the three of you to get to know one another. Following your recovery period, you'll travel together to your room on one of our mother baby units. Should you need a cesarean section, you'll be moved to one of our state-of-the-art operating suites for surgery then onto the recovery room to be evaluated and cared for during the first hours after surgery. Your primary support person will accompany you for your surgery and may stay with you in the recovery room. The other members of your support team can remain close by in the waiting room. And if they'd like to get something to eat while you're in surgery, there's a cafeteria on the first floor. Following delivery, if you and your baby are doing well, you'll remain together in the recovery room. During this time, we encourage you to bond with your baby with skin-to-skin -skin contact. We'll also help you breastfeed if this is your chosen method of feeding. Eventually, the baby will go to the mother-baby unit where a nurse will measure the baby's length and perform a thorough physical assessment in your room. Once you've completed your recovery time, you'll be transferred to a room on the mother-baby unit for the remainder of your hospital stay. Most of the mother baby rooms are private. We provide new moms with a room to themselves whenever possible, only doubling up during very busy times. If your baby needs specialized care, the Virtua Special Care Nursery provides care for newborns 32 weeks and older. The nursery is equipped with all of the latest technology. And the layout of the nursery enhances privacy for breastfeeding and allows natural light to flood the area, which is good for healing. Parents of babies in the special care nursery can take a break from the bedside to enjoy refreshments, use a computer, and receive education and support from the specially trained staff in the Ronald McDonald Room. Right now, your thoughts are probably focused on your labor and the birth of your baby. But we want to help you be ready for those what-if moments that may occur in your parenting journey. There may come a time when your baby will need to receive medical care after the pediatrician's office is closed. Virtual Memorial provides emergency care in its pediatric pavilion. Should your child require hospitalization, the pediatric pavilion also houses the pediatric inpatient unit. The pavilion is staffed round the clock with Virtua Pediatric Nurses and Children's Hospital of Philadelphia Pediatricians. These physicians care for Memorial's littlest patients through a partnership between Virtua and CHOP. Recognizing the importance of family members to a patient's well-being, Virtua practices family-centered care. A parent may remain with her child throughout her hospital stay. Every patient room has a flat-screen TV with internet access, DVD player, and Xbox. 
There's a playroom on the unit with a variety of activities available to children, including a computer with internet access, portable PlayStation, portable DVD player, Xbox, and a variety of age-appropriate toys and crafts. While we hope you never have the need for our pediatric services, we do hope you'll think of Virtua if that need should ever arise. We wish you the best in your upcoming birth and look forward to partnering with you for your baby's birth and all of your future healthcare needs.